Welcome members of the ever-growing VR horde, my name is Rex, this is Eyes on VR, and this is a one-eye review today where I take a look at games that don't quite need the 20 to 45 minute in-depth reviews I normally do, but definitely deserves a look nonetheless, and this one's free! The Steam page said that this was heart-pounding stuff, and they ain't kidding. I am absolutely cracking myself right now. But I'm gonna... ah! Oh, shit. Ah! No. Sounds like something else. Great. We should go check it out. No, don't do that. Come on. What? No, 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 uh, we got orders. Mm, we gotta stay put. Yeah, this guy, this guy knows what's hey, up. Hey, man! Oh, my God. No. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, Big Mama's home. I've also got some juicy behind the scenes info from the devs of this game regarding this universe. So today I'll be taking that one eye and reviewing the adrenaline pumping, butt clenching Propagation VR. Propagation VR combines survival horror, static wave shooting in a glorious looking environment with plenty of zombies, multi-species mutants, and if you think the zombies in this universe can't squeeze the trigger on a gun, you'd be wrong. Jesus, what are you doing? I'm just trying to be dodgy. As the Steam page says, Propagation VR will get your adrenaline pumping as you try and survive a zombie apocalypse armed only with your guns and your fists. Fight off terrifying zombies and other multi-species mutants. Will you get out alive? You will if you're lucky, but on hard mode and above it will be a push. Hard mode is not messing around. They can dodge. I don't like them. Do not like that. How are you intelligent? You're spiders. Oh, f Graphics. This game is absolutely beautiful. I just took a look at Furious Seas, which is also absolutely beautiful on a whole nother level. You can check that out here, but this is above and beyond that graphically as well. Propagation VR's dynamic lighting is absolutely beautiful. It relies heavily on this and it absolutely fits the bill. Your muzzle flashes from your weapons even light up the environment that you're in. which can also show you what's coming at you when the lights are out. The lighting is used absolutely expertly. The textures are very high res. Everything looks real from random objects or bodies on the floor all the way up to the zombies coming right at your face. Everything looks crisp, clear and absolutely beautiful. What took you so long? We have survivors here. <sighs> Took your time. <sighs> Don't worry. It's very Unreal Engine, but I can't clarify whether it was built on that or not. And oh, the guns look good. They're quite shiny for some reason, but man, oh man, do they look good. Not to mention the blood effects. When you get a hit, you are very, very aware of that hit, and that doesn't even go over punching a zombie in the head. Duh. Sounds. Like that. Oh, Jesus! Oh boy, oh boy, do these sounds sound sweet! When you look at games like Onward or Pavlov, the sounds aren't quite there, especially in Pavlov where most guns sound kind of the same. 
But these guns have a real hard hitting sound. That shotgun is an absolute joy to hear when you are firing it. And the directional sound is great as well. You're static, you can't go anywhere, but you can hear things creeping around in the darkness and coming at you from different angles. A few times, that's exactly how I knew to be ready and prepared in a certain direction, even if I couldn't see a zombie yet. And that is terrifying, but also really helpful and amazing. Atmosphere. Big well done to the Wanna Dev team here as this subway is very, very creepy. I'm not the best with horror games, but I'm also not the worst. And in Propagation VR, when you're getting swamped or even just stood there waiting for the next wave, it is so, so tense. So many entrances and not just doors or walls, you better keep your eyes up as well. And believe me, you're gonna wanna keep looking around because these things getting close, you are gonna see some ugly boys. You one ugly motherfucker. Now what helps with this atmosphere is the gameplay. Knowing you can't move is pretty scary. You can't run, you can't hide, you have to take on whatever comes at you through the darkness, and that is pretty terrifying. The gameplay is strong here. It's nice, smooth, and the offset on the guns is nice. The shooting looks really good, and it feels good too. But gameplay is where I found issues with the game, mostly the guns. First up, you can't hold your pistol with two hands. It's one hand only, which kind of sucks. It's fine and it works perfectly fine. Whether it affects accuracy or not is quite obvious that it doesn't. I still feel I'm never getting as quite an accurate shot with a pistol unless I'm using two hands. And I did while playing, but the animation for the other hand locking onto the pistol just isn't there. This leads into a lack of control issues. You can't chamber your rounds or pull the slide of the guns. You empty a magazine, it auto ejects and you put a new one in. It inserts the mag, closes the slide, you're good to go all automatically. And the shotgun doesn't eject a cartridge either unless it's been fired, even if you just randomly pump it and it is full. It's a realism problem, but this is totally justified in my eyes in how insane this game can get. You're frantically turning around, moving around, loading shells, pumping a shotgun, firing a shotgun, going crazy. It can get really intense. The Steam page said that this was heart pounding stuff, and they ain't kidding. I am absolutely cracking myself right now. But I'm just... And believe me, I would have lost lots of cartridges out of that shotgun by pumping it accidentally when I'm turning and kind of freaking out. So it is a good gameplay addition, but realism wise, you know, it's a bit of a no-no, even though that would be great if shotguns only ejected cartridges after they'd been fired. Speaking of firing, I also had trigger sensitivity issues. Hmm, yeah, that's... Look, see, I am pressing my trigger now. Press, 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 press. Only one. Press, 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 press. You gotta really heavy press that trigger with this. Like, I'm pressing my trigger right now multiple times. Press, 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 press. I'm getting a couple out of it, but not all of them. That's interesting. I did play on the Quest 2 via virtual desktop, and I did play it wired as well through my PC, and it was the same every time. It may just be the Quest 2. Other headsets might be totally fine. I just thought I'd make you aware of it. Also, three shots to the head to kill a zombie? Me no likey. You know what I don't like? 
is when it takes three shots to the head to kill a zombie because it doesn't. <laughs> I assume. That's one to the head, you see it? One shot through the brain and you're done. End of story. That's the rule. That's the zombie rule. This can be stopped by removing the head or destroying the brain. I'll repeat that. But I did play on hard mode, so I hope it's much less on lesser difficulties. Hopefully on normal, you get that one hit in the head and you're done. One thing I will say though is it only takes one good punch to explode a zombie's head, so I cannot complain about that. That's a big boy. Now something else not to complain about, or maybe to complain about, depending on your opinion, is the co-op. If you want to do this with friends, you absolutely can. And while Propagation VR is free, this is only the single player experience. If you want to play with friends, you gotta pay. That's how they get you. Whether you think it's worth it is entirely up to you because it'll cost you $7.99. Power's back. Oh, nice of you to show up. Hey, Thanks, Les. What did you do to my men? Hey. Who hey, I didn't do. No. Okay, so here's the juicy bit. I talked to someone at WannaDev Studio and they confirmed that Propagation VR is basically kind of a tech demo and a gameplay demo for the PC. It was originally built for arcade rooms, not PC VR as we know it now. That's why it's an experience that lasts about 30 minutes and you don't move at all. That being said, it means there will be no adding on to the Propagation VR version that we have now. No more guns, no more levels or stages, but don't be disheartened. They are working on other games in the Propagation VR universe. I couldn't get anything more specific than that other than the fact that you'll be able to move. So I assume it's going to be a proper kind of saints and sinners kind of thing, but it will look this good. Also, in the arcade versions of Propagation VR, there are other levels and stages to be played. Some are outside, they're not all just in the subway. So it seems logical that these will follow as this has been quite a hit for the studio since they released the free version. So no need to panic if you're loving this game, loving this universe and you want to see more. It is coming, just give them time. Zombies punch their heads to kill them in close combat. Oh, it just scared me. Is it worth it? Of course it is. It's a free VR shooter. It looks great, sounds great, plays well too. It's got a replay factor there to conquer the different difficulties. And if you love it so much, you can go multiplayer for a price. It's a short experience though. Bear that in mind. It was only planned for arcade rooms where people could pay to play, hop in, have a good session that's not too long, not too short, and then leave again. It's a beautiful game without a doubt and well worth a play, even if it's not your normal thing. I mean, come on, it's free. With over 200,000 downloads and an overwhelmingly positive review section on Steam, at least get it in your VR library to play later if you're not going to play it now. I'll definitely go back to it a few times after this review, I know that for sure. With new games coming from Wanna Dev Studio, it's definitely worth playing and getting a taste of what is hopefully to come from the Propaganda VR universe. Oh no, wait, what? No, 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 no. From the Propagation VR universe. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see a lot more VR content. I appreciate you making it this far. My name is Rex. This is Eyes on VR. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. No, sounds like something else. Great. We should go check it out. No, don't do that. Come on. What? No, no, no. Uh, we got orders. Mm, we got to stay put. Yeah, this guy. This guy knows what's hey, up. Hey, man. Oh, my God. No.